What do you think of when you think about Thai street food? Do you think about the face-melting spice Thai food has a reputation for? Or maybe the super fresh local ingredients they use in their dishes? Or maybe you think about the exotic seafood you might find on your plate. Whatever it is, most will agree that Thailand has some of the best food you will find in the entire world. Street food is everywhere in Thailand. Exploring the vibrant street markets and indulging in the sweet, spicy, and savory flavors of Thai street food is an experience that ignites all the senses. The bustling atmosphere, the aromatic scents wafting through the air, and the sight of colorful stalls filled with smiling chefs and an array of culinary delights create a truly memorable adventure for anyone who loves good food. Get your taste buds ready, because we are going to take you on a tour of some of our favorite street food spots in Thailand. Located in the heart of Phuket Town, Phuket Lard Yai Sunday Walking Market is truly something to experience. It is a giant party every Sunday. There are blocks and blocks of seemingly endless food stalls, and all kinds of vendors selling clothing, handmade art, trinkets, jewelry, fresh coconuts, yum, 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 yum. You name it, and they probably have it at the Sunday Walking Market. The street food here is phenomenal, but it can be a challenge to find a place to sit and eat. Would you like to know what it's like to walk through this giant Thai market? Well, I have a 4K Ultra walking tour video of our experience here. Click the card above and check it out. Got some dim sum, shrimp and pork. Wow, that was really good. I think that was a pork. It was a little bit sweet. I liked it. That is a pork ball on a stick. Got a little bit of spice. It's not breaded and it's delicious. The Kata Beach area in Phuket is a little more upscale. This area caters to the kind of folks that have a healthy bank account and want a little more refined experience in Thailand. Don't get me wrong, Kata is a beautiful area to spend some time and some money. You should expect prices to be higher for just about everything. The Kata Night Market is no exception. It is full of excellent street food vendors and a really chill ambiance. There are more tables and chairs than some of the other markets, so finding a place to sit is usually not a problem. Might cost a little more, but it's a great place to grab a Chang beer from the bar at the far end, find your table, and go seek out a mouth-watering dinner from one of the many friendly street food chefs. Let me get three small ribs, one piece of chicken, and some garlic bread. about to dig into this insane barbecued chicken grilled right in front of me. Also have this amazing looking garlic bread that was on the grill. Try that really quick. Mm. Oh. Grilled garlic bread with like, Thai spices on the top of it. Can't beat that. I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be able to eat all that, but say la vie. Um, and now I'm gonna try some of this chicken. Looks really tender, looks perfect. Mm. Chicken is amazing. See what the sauce they gave me is all about. Super good, falling off the bone. The sauce is sweet and tangy. It's not like an American barbecue sauce, but uh, it's really, it's different and I love that. And it's delicious, so I'm gonna dig in. Time to try one of these giant fried shrimps. Look at the size of this shrimp. They look amazing. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce they gave us. It's a huge shrimp. It's really delicious. Uh, I wish the, the sauce is really sweet, it's good, but uh, like Emily said, I wish we had some cocktail sauce. Delicious. 
I have some pork ribs here, which I went and got. They look really good, smell sweet, barbecuey. Give them a try. Oh. Good. They're bone in ribs. I really like the sauce, it's very tangy. They're really good. All right, Joe, what was your favorite thing at the Kata Street Market? Ooh, uh, I'm gonna say the grilled chicken. I thought the ribs were gonna do it because I was really in the mood for ribs tonight, but the grilled chicken kind of uh, took the cake because it was falling off the bone. Um, I really like the sauce and uh, it was absolutely delicious. Uh, the Kata Street Market is a winner for me. It has picked up a lot since we got here and so we came right at the right time and uh, I think we may come back to this, so yeah, here we go. The Villa Mart Street Market is just a few steps from our condo. It's open on Mondays and Tuesdays. You will find us there often. It is not one of the biggest, most elaborate street markets, but it has some of our favorite street food chefs, and it's really close to home. There's nothing better than bringing home so much food that you know there's gonna be leftovers tomorrow for lunch, and you're only spending a few dollars, or Thai bot as it were. All right, we're just back from the street market and it is a beautiful thing because we live just uh, a few feet away from that market. And so we're able to go there and they have an awesome variety. I think it's our favorite street market even though it's not one of the biggest ones. And they have an awesome variety. It's not quite as crowded as some of the other ones. And we can take it as takeaway, bring it back to our place and enjoy it uh, in the, the peace of our home. I'm not sure what Thais call it, but it is Basically a beef wrap, it has uh, a bunch of vegetables, a bunch of spices. George likes his chicken spicy. <laughs> and you can get different sauces on it. They have like pizza sauce, uh, barbecue sauce, all these things. And I went with the chili sauce because I like spicy food. I'm in Thailand after all. Thailand, huh? I'd like... That's awesome. The tortilla is crispy on the outside, perfectly cooked. Uh, the meat is spiced to perfection. It's really good. Uh, there is like cabbage and uh, that chili sauce and some other little veggies in there. Mix them together to make this just absolutely fantastic. This is what Thai street food is all about if you ask me. All right, now we got this mushroom soup. And when you get soup for takeaway, they give it to you in a plastic bag. But it smells really rich. Oops, try to show you without spilling it here. Um, there's these little thread mushrooms, these bigger fan type mushrooms. I don't, I'm not really a mushroom person, so I don't know all the different names for them, but I like mushrooms, so I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm gonna get one of these big fan ones. That's good. The mushrooms make it have this like meaty taste, but there's definitely some ginger and I think possibly some galangal, I believe is how you say it, which is a Thai um, Thai ingredient similar to ginger. i um, kind of getting used to identifying that in some of the dishes we've had here. Um, but it gives it a little bit of a bite to it. And I think there's some zucchini in here maybe. So I like that. And it, it tastes really healthy too. So that's a plus. I really look forward to this. This is spicy chicken and rice. The person that cooked this for us, 
he like mixed it up in a bowl with some oils and spices and salts and powders that I have no idea what they are, but I can only imagine how good it's going to be. All the, all the street food here, or at least almost all the street food here, has been exemplary and uh, lives up to its reputation, so here we go. Mm. Man, that's magnificent. The chicken is, it's like a fried chicken, but it's cold, and it's meant to be cold. And it is mixed in with those oils and spices. And I really wish I knew the names of them because then I'd be able to describe to you what they are, but. I think I've identified some sesame and some cilantro. Some, uh, he asked if we wanted it to be spicy and it's got some, definitely got some chilies in it. And it is spicy, but it's just that perfect spice that puts your mouth on fire, but doesn't make you want to run around in circles. Um, I, I, could, I could, couldn't get anything like this in America that I know of. And I've never had this flavor before. It is just a really strong, um, rich, powerful flavor that is super enjoyable. And I love that about traveling. You get to try new things and new tastes. And uh, the street food uh, is fantastic. Alright, next up we have a banana pancake, which I have been looking forward to having since before we came to Thailand. It's what everybody talks about. Um, they call them sometimes banana pancakes, sometimes banana rotis, which is from an Indian term for a type of bread. It's really a unique creation. They have a, a, a pan, well you'll be seeing it on the, the video we took there, but they, they make it kind of like a crepe. Um, and the lady that made mine was really talented, honestly. It was fun to watch her. Um, I went with chocolate and banana because obviously that looks yum. But they had uh, banana and mango, banana and natilla, all sorts of different combinations. Um, so let me try a bite of this. Nope. Just like what I wanted it to taste like. We've got a nice big slice of banana in there and some some chocolate on top. It adds a little bit of sweetness. It's really good. All right, the next thing on the menu is these potatoes. It's, uh, I don't know, it's like puffy potato chips on a stick. I've never had this yet. Uh, you can get different flavors put on there and it's like salts that she puts on. And this one is on the recommendation of my wife, sour cream and onion. Let's see how it is. Mm. That's really good. It's, uh, it's like a battered fried potato. Uh, pretty much any fried potato is gonna be good. That's a fine fried potato. This one's especially good. Just a hint of sour cream and onion on there with that salt. And uh, I don't know, I've never had a potato cooked quite like this. I love potatoes, so this is a treat. Our last thing here is our dessert. I don't know what this is. It was something like crazy coconut Thai dessert. So how could you not try it? 10 of these for, I think it was 30 baht. And they all have different toppings on them. So this one is maybe coconut. This one I recognize from something else that I had. This is golden thread 
or saffron, I believe. Um, and then there's one here on the bottom, which is green, maybe it's avocado, but let me get a bite of this and tell you what, I'm not sure what the white stuff is, maybe coconut cream, so. I'm not sure what the white stuff is, honestly. It tastes like, like a marshmallow almost. It's really sweet and sticky, very sticky. And then it's got this crepe. It's very similar to the the bread that, or the the batter from the banana pancake, just kind of in miniature form. Yeah, those are a nice dessert. Definitely would have these again.